Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days, all right? This is the brother Yakanard from the GMS England branch. As you can see, this is going to serve as an in-transit edition video. Lord willing, it'd be edifying unto you brothers out there and uh, a few sisters listening and also learning. And in this um, in this lesson, I want to um, speak upon. How, you know, life in this kingdom is supposed to be grievous, all right? Our life in this kingdom is supposed to be grievous. It's supposed to be unbearable. And we are supposed to be in a mindset of hoping for and looking for deliverance, you know, from this wicked kingdom, you know? And as it tells us in a Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4, you know, roughly paraphrasing, go throughout the midst of the sea for the midst of Jerusalem and say, Mark on the heads of the men that sigh and that cry for the abominations that be done therein. All right? So clearly, those that have the mark, which goes back to the Hebrew word farwa, which is an and which is a mark of exemption from judgment, they will be sighing and crying for the state of affairs that are playing out right now upon the face of the earth under the rulership of Esau Edom. Alright? They'll be sighing and crying for the injustice that is um upon this earth they'll be sighing and crying because of the turning of things upside down you know what this devil allows to play out in his society without judgment going forth and that reminds me of Habakkuk all right where it says um you know the law is slacked and judgment doth never go forth we're living in a kingdom that's totally wicked that embraces and exalts the ways of the left hand side in society and that's why the righteous are sighing and crying, okay? Because our spirit doesn't belong in this society, all right? Our spirit, even though we sin, all right, and even though we fall short and our righteousness is as filthy rags, still within us, you know, the Lord has placed a spirit where we know right from wrong. We know what's wickedness when we see it, okay? So being in this kingdom on a daily basis is very irritating is very unbearable for those that are in their right mind okay and that's why the scriptures say surely oppression maketh a wise man mad okay because we know we're being impressed not being able to conduct perfectly all right and execute the law statutes and commandments of Yahweh about shimmy our shy that's a form of oppression. All right? Having to li live among, you know, wicked demons. All right? And in the state that we're living in upon, you know, this in this kingdom, that's a state of oppression. Okay? Having to work, you know, for Esau, Edom, and having to pay, you know, tributary onto him, you know, pay his taxes. All right? Pay your taxes, so on and so forth. That is, um, that is captivity, man. Okay? That's oppression that we're living in, you know, in this kingdom. 
So we're not supposed to enjoy our life. This is a punishment that we're experiencing right now, man. Okay? And the scriptures also say, you know, they love not their lives unto death. And sometimes you actually feel like that. Sometimes you feel like, you know what? I would actually rather be in the spirit realm than be here, than be upon the earth. But we understand, all right, that we have a job to do. We understand that we're on a mission. And Apostle Paul, you know, said the same thing. We actually have a mission. We have a job to do. And we play a part in ushering in, being the heralds onto our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which is a very important work that has to be conducted in these last days. So at the same time, you know, it's a beautiful thing to be on the earth in these last days and to have the um, opportunity to make your calling and your election sure. All right? So that's the flip side of it. You know, that's the balance. It's actually a beautiful thing to be down here and be part of that process of being a herald unto our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. That is beautiful. That the Lord, you know, Lord willing, has chosen us to actually play that part, to play that role. Because it is a very important role. All right? It is a very, very important role that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai has blessed us all right, to actually fulfill in these last days, man. All right, so that's a beautiful thing. But regarding our mindset and, you know, how we're supposed to be in this kingdom, we're not supposed to enjoy this life, man. The scriptures say we have no continuing city. This is not our rest, okay? This is not where, you know, we're supposed to actually experience, you know, joy of heart, Okay? actually, you know, experience, you know, the joy of your children, right, the joy of your woman, okay, this is not the place for all of that, man, okay, the odds are stacked up against us in this kingdom, but what we do have is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, what we do have is this word and the understanding of what's going to happen in these latter days, commencing the downfall of Esau Edom, that's where the comfort comes in, all right, but the comfort doesn't come in the form of us prospering in life on this side, all right? You know, that prosperity doctrine that they preach in the churches, that ain't for us. That ain't for those that are not of this world, man. And in fact, if, you're, um, if your life in this kingdom is what you thought it would be and you don't see a problem <laughs> with... with, with, with um, with your life, all right, and how it's played out and, you know, everything's good for you, then you really should be worried, all right, because that's an indication that you ain't going through the fire and therefore you have about Shem Yahweh Shai is not dealing with you, man, all right, and, and, and I was reasoning with a brother yesterday, you know, regarding these things. When you when you catch, you know, tribulation, when you catch hell, all right, thank you how about Shem Yahweh Shai for that hell, man, you know, praise you how about Shem Yahweh Shai for the trials and tribulations that you're experiencing in your life. Because why? That's an indication that he's dealing with you as a son, as it tells us in the scriptures, man. Okay? That's an indication that he loves you and he's putting you through that fire. And then quite possibly, you know, he's getting ready to deliver you in these last days. But if you ain't catching hell and you ain't going through nothing and you're just smooth sailing, all right, <laughs> and if you will, you know, the stars are aligning for you, you know, everything you do, then that's that, that's that's an indication that Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai is not dealing with you and that you're worldly and you've dedicated yourself to this world and that's why the world is helping you. All right? Now, of course, you know, we will receive blessings, all right, from Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai in our current state, of course. Okay? But there's always going to be a tribulation, a trial around the corner all right, that we have to deal with. That's going to make us stronger and that's going to build within us, you know, a, a, a an acceptable spirit that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is looking for in these last days from someone that's going to be of the elect. All right? So that's what it is, man. So if, if your life ain't going right, all right, if, if, if you always, you know, catching hell, all right, trials and tribulations, Okay, things ain't going your way, 
You know, that's a good thing, man. Praise you, how about Shimmy I was shy for that. Because the scriptures say, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Don't despise it. You know, embrace it. And like Elder Apostle Taha said uh, many years ago, um, I want to quote it correctly, but Salaka, if I, I don't quote it, you know, 100%, but it was something along the lines of, you know, you got to eat the hell like a full course meal, man. You know? You got to accept that. All right? This is the portion that Yahweh Barashim Yahweh has given you to deal with, so accept it. You know? And this pray to Yahweh Barashim Yahweh for the strength to overcome what he's given you to deal with, man. Okay? Which if you're of the elect, absolutely you're going to have the strength to deal with the hell and the trials and tribulations that he's bestowed upon you. Because it's not to destroy you, it's to make you stronger. All right? So with that, you know, Lord willing, this uh, lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I'll say Shalom.